Since a lot of people are interested in being healthy, instead of making another old video of here are the things to do to be healthy, I figured I would flip this equation around for you guys. How about here's what not to do? In other words, these are the six things that you should keep doing if you virtually want to guarantee to stay unhealthy. So then at the end, we're going to flip this back around and we'll basically give ourselves a mini blueprint of habits to follow for life to maximize your health. Hey there, I'm Dr. Anna. I'm a medical doctor. I was trained in Italy. And on this channel, you are gonna learn how to master your health. All right, so at number six, what do you wanna do to stay unhealthy? Well, it's to never eat any produce. I'm talking about no vegetables and no fruits. By avoiding these foods, you're guaranteeing that you're going to avoid lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, and lots of other plant nutrients that are called phytonutrients. And these are molecules that come specifically from plants and give our body lots of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and even anti-cancer properties. So you can just skip all of those. By avoiding produce, you're also going to be avoiding feeding your gut bacteria or the bacteria that live inside of your gastrointestinal tract the essential nutrition that they need to be healthy. So you're basically going to be guaranteeing that your GI tract is wreaking havoc on you, getting really upset and causing a lot of digestive issues. We also know that this microbiota plays a huge role in the production of serotonin, one of the main neurotransmitters of our body, as well as an important role in our immune system. So by avoiding produce, you can let your immune system know and your nervous system know that they're going to be dealing with a lot more stress. Now, why am I saying this all in this way? Well, you need to pay attention to the fact that online, there's a lot of people now making content telling you that plants are toxic. Now, this just doesn't make sense nutritionally or logically. For a lot of the reasons I just stated, produce is very important for a lot of different systems of our body, a lot of different organ systems, and a lot of different balancing homeostasis functions of our body in terms of our hormones, our neurotransmitters, our immune system, etc. So when people start telling you that plants are toxic, avoid plants, you need to really question this because all traditional diets of the world and ancient diets that have been eaten for thousands of years, if not millions of years, all include produce. So that means it is essential for survival and is essential for overall health. Now that's not to say that you need to eat produce every single time you eat, but by avoiding it at all costs, you are definitely going to be causing your body some stress. So for people that are telling you that plants are toxic and you need to avoid them, I would say the real danger there is that faulty logic. All right, habit number five, to nearly guarantee that you'll stay unhealthy, well, that's to only eat really processed, highly refined and sugary breakfasts every single day. I'm talking about a lot of the breakfast kids cereals, things that have marshmallows and chocolate. I'm talking about cookies, cake, muffins that are super sweetened with a lot of added sugar, and then highly refined foods that are oily and deep fried, things like donuts. So if this is the only kind of a thing you eat for breakfast, here's what you're missing out on. Essential nutrients like vitamins, minerals, things like protein and fiber, which are very important for your immune system, your digestive system, and the growth of your body. Trying to make gains in the gym? Well, by skipping protein, especially at breakfast, you are already setting yourself back a notch. Now, the other thing you're going to be doing for yourself if you're only eating these highly sugary and refined breakfasts is forcing yourself to be pretty hungry and feel a crash in your energy probably just one to two hours after you finish this meal. And I don't know about you, but I like to eat breakfast to give myself energy for my day so I can actually go and do something useful with my time. Now, for a lot more information about breakfast, you gotta check out my complete guide up here where I break down a lot of information about a healthy breakfast, an unhealthy breakfast, and how to think this through. So the fourth habit for nearly guaranteeing that you're gonna stay unhealthy is skipping a meal and instead just having an energy drink or a quick juice. Now this is problematic for a lot of reasons, but quite simply, your body needs nutrition in order to function properly. Now I break this down as the healthy trifecta, the three main components you should consider in eating at every single meal in order to have a very balanced approach to eating, giving your body the right nutrition and the right amount of energy and fuel to sustain you for many hours. So it's pretty counterintuitive because if you're gonna skip a meal and instead just have an energy drink, that is not necessarily giving your body actual fuel for 
having energy to sustain itself. Instead, you're just burning up the last bits of energy you really have. Not to mention by skipping a meal, you're skipping an opportunity to give yourself lots of vitamins, minerals, healthy fats, healthy fiber, protein, the things your body really needs. So remember those Snickers commercials where all you need is to grab a Snickers? I would ask you to think again. So if you're liking this video so far and you're getting value out of it, please subscribe to this channel. Believe it or not, it helps get these videos out to a lot more people who deserve to learn this information. Okay, coming in at number three for the habit that's nearly going to guarantee you to stay unhealthy, well, it's to never exercise and have no plan for how to get more movement into your life. Now, I think it goes without saying that exercise is essential for our body's health. We need exercise, especially as a kid, when we are growing and we want our bones to be strong, our muscles to be strong, and we wanna make sure we're reaching the healthiest levels of our organ function. So I'm talking about growing a really strong immune system, growing a really strong brain. And that is actually something that matters throughout our entire lifetime. We know that exercise is directly correlated with brain health in our older age. So things like Alzheimer's disease and dementias, well, we know that those things are actually associated with low amounts of exercise earlier in life. By also avoiding exercise at all costs, you know you're going to be physically hurting later on in your life. Your joints are gonna to start to hurt, your muscles are gonna hurt, your back might start to hurt, and that's going to cause so much more frustration for you than you can even imagine. If any of you out there are dealing with chronic pain, you're going to know what I'm talking about. It can be devastating and absolutely impacts everything else in your life. You don't wanna set yourself up for that if you can avoid it. Now, by avoiding exercise, you're also probably going to suffer at some point from things like weight gain and feeling fatigued and exhausted. So if you're not trying to achieve a lot in your life and you really don't wanna be bothered by doing cool things like going for a hike, traveling, and hanging out with your grandchildren one day, skip the exercise, make no mistake. The convenience economy we live in with everything being delivered right to our doorstep does come with hidden costs. All right, habit number two, to nearly guarantee that you're gonna stay unhealthy, well, that's to get all of your health advice from influencers online. And I'm not talking about influencers like me, who's actually a medical doctor, and I work with patients in an actual hospital and clinic. I'm talking about the influencers online who have no degrees behind their name, who have no prior experience working with actual patients or clients, and they just have theories about what is or is not healthy, and they like to project that out into the world in a believable manner that convinces a lot of people. Pay attention to where you get your health knowledge and information. There is so much stuff on the internet that is super valuable, but there is just as much stuff out there that's really dangerous. And a lot of us can fall prey to believing somebody who is maybe really good looking, really good at speaking, and has a way with words. They just have that way of making an argument that kind of pulls you in and they tell lots of stories and they appeal to emotion and they put a lot of fear into you when they talk to you about their topic pay attention to this stuff. Your life may actually depend on it. Now, if some of you are listening to this right now and you're thinking of some examples of what I'm talking about, one of the things that I mentioned right at the beginning of this video is people who are telling you that plants are toxic. Well, that stuff is really going around the internet like wildfire these days. So pay attention. And kudos to you for being here right now because you're already doing a great job of keeping yourself better informed. So before we dive into our number one habit to nearly guarantee that you're gonna stay unhealthy, comment below and share with us which one of these things are freaking you out right now or which one of these things are causing you to ask some questions. Let's stimulate this conversation with the opportunity for learning. Okay, what's the number one thing that you should do if you wanna virtually guarantee that you're not gonna be healthy? Well, it's to ignore symptoms that you're experiencing. Now, the reality is symptoms occur when our body is trying to tell us something. It is trying to let us know that something is not working, something's not going well, could be lots of different things going on, and we don't know that unless we seek professional help. Almost all of us have the experience of Googling something we're experiencing and getting terrified that, wow, it's something very extreme like cancer. Don't worry, it doesn't mean that there's something bad happening just because you're having an ongoing symptom, but that is definitely why you should seek professional advice because it is possible that something more serious is happening and you wanna catch that as early as possible, especially for devastating conditions like chronic diseases or cancer. At the very least, if you do not have a doctor that you visit on an annual basis, 
seek an urgent care appointment. Your life may depend on it. So we're at the point in this video where we realize, okay, there's a lot of things that we could do to screw up our health. So let's flip these around. To stay healthy, we're going to eat more produce. I'm talking more vegetables and more fruits in our diet overall. And ideally, eating vegetables or fruits at every meal. And this is going to give us so much of that essential nutrition our body really needs. Healthy vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, a great source of fiber. And overall is going to help us feel full. And hey, eating more produce might even help us lose a little weight. And then we're going to avoid those really sugary breakfasts that are packed with a lot of added sugar, refined ingredients, and refined added oils from deep fried donuts, cookies, cakes, muffins, you name it. And we're also not going to be skipping meals and instead just reaching for an energy drink because we know that that is not essential nutrition our body really needs for good quality energy. We're also gonna make sure that we exercise and move every single day as much as we possibly can. We wanna incorporate a lot of different styles of exercise to keep things fun, engaging. We wanna make sure we're doing a good combination of cardio moves and weight training so that we're really giving our bones, our joints, and our muscles and our cardiovascular system the essential requirements it needs to be optimally healthy. Not to mention doing all of this movement and exercise is so healthy for our brains. And then we're gonna make sure that we get our health advice from credible sources. This could be your doctor, a dietitian, a nutritionist, even a chiropractor, an herbalist, someone you know who has studied their information and has actually worked with real people to practice this in a regulated fashion. And then finally, if we have an ongoing symptom, we know we're going to seek professional help. We're going to make that appointment with that doctor. We need to know that there's not something more serious going on beneath the surface. Now that you know these automatic ways to be healthy, you're going to love my total guide up here where I talk about the thing that people most get wrong with the Mediterranean diet because really it's all about putting these things together in a lifestyle. Jump into that video, I'll see you in there.